Want a fuller, more voluptuous pout? While there's no way to permanently increase lip size, there are a variety of both short-term and long-term methods to improve lip fullness, shape, and volume. Watch this video to explore different options. Invest in a lip plumping product. Lip plumping products come in many forms, glosses, balms, sticks, gels, and pots. Applying these to your lips can temporarily make your lips look fuller, often by irritating them. 1. The plumping effect will only last for a couple of hours, but you can renew it by reapplying the product to your lips. Note that the effects won't be as drastic as those achieved through cosmetic surgery. Surgery. Know which lip plumping ingredients to look for. Ingredients like cinnamon, ginger mint, wintergreen, and capsicum will boost blood flow to your lips, causing them to redden and swell, that is, to look fuller. Use a lip plumper as a primer. If you wish to combine your lip plumping product with a lipstick or gloss, Apply the plumper to your lips first for maximum effectiveness. Don't overuse lip plumpers. Dermatologists recommend against overusing lip plumping products, as these may cause your lips to become dry and scaly. 4. Try to save the lip plumpers for special occasions. Look into treatment plumpers. If you want more from your lip plumping products, consider trying a treatment plumper. Manufacturers claim that treatment plumpers can stimulate your lips into producing more collagen and elastin, making your lips fuller for a longer period of time. Treatment plumpers are available for purchase online and in person at shops that carry beauty products. 5. They may be more expensive than traditional plumpers. Common ingredients in treatment plumpers include peptides, marine collagen, and human growth factors. Factors. Drink enough water. When your lips are dry and chapped, they will appear thinner. You can make your lips appear plumper and healthier simply by taking better care of them. The first step to doing this is to drink enough water. A popular method for calculating how much water you should drink each day is to take your weight in pounds and divide it in half, the result is how many ounces of water you should drink each day. You would need to drink more water if you lived in a hot climate or exercised, in other words, if you were sweating more than normal. A 150-pound woman should drink roughly 75 ounces, about 2,200 milliliters, of water each day. Don't lick your lips. When you lick your lips, your tongue spreads acidic saliva on them. This can remove your lips' natural oils and cause them to become irritated. Don't smoke. Smoking can irritate and discolor your lips, it can also cause wrinkles around your mouth. If you smoke and do not want to quit, at the very least try switching to an e-cigarette, which will not be as toxic to your lips as a regular cigarette. You may be able to reduce smoking-related discoloration by massaging almond and coconut oil on your lips each day. Apply a moisturizing balm to your lips. If your lips are dry or chapped, use a lip balm regularly. Even if your lips are not chapped, consider using a lip moisturizer that contains an SPF to protect your lips from the sun's damaging rays. If your lips are sensitive, it may take some trial and error to find a lip balm that works for you. Some people use natural balms containing ingredients like coconut oil and honey, while others find that medicated balms containing menthol are best. Unless your lips are already well hydrated, avoid beeswax lip balms. Beeswax lip balms are too heavy to actually impart moisture to your lips, they can only seal in the moisture that's already there. 
wear SPF on your lips. If you only put one thing on your lips, it should be SPF. The sun's rays can cause your lips to chap and become dry, making them look smaller than they are. Shiny products such as lip glosses can actually magnify the sun's rays, causing them to harm your lips more than if you had nothing on your lips at all. Dermatologists warn that wearing lip gloss without an SPF can do more than damage your lips, it can actually cause skin cancer. Don't exfoliate your lips. Exfoliating your lips might help them feel smooth in the short term, but it can actually damage your lips if you do it regularly. Instead of exfoliating your lips, work on keeping them hydrated. Unlike your regular skin, your lips are made of a sensitive mucous membrane. When this membrane is healthy, it's naturally smooth. smooth. Avoid products that may cause allergic reactions. If you are taking good care of your lips and they are still always chapped, you may be experiencing an allergic reaction to something you're using on or near your lips. 12. Citrusy and salty foods can irritate lips. Some toothpastes can irritate lips. If you think your toothpaste may be causing problems for you, Try switching to one that doesn't contain sodium lauryl sulfate or alcohol. 13. Be mindful of heavily scented facial products, which can wind up on your lips and can cause irritation. Commit to exercising your lips every day. It may take up to four weeks for you to see a difference, so be prepared to wait for results. You may find it useful to take a before pick. Tracking your progress might help keep you motivated. Aim for at least a few minutes of lip exercises one to two times per day. You can pick and choose from the exercises in this article, or do an online search for more exercises. There are many instructional videos on lip plumping exercises, if you'd like someone to follow along with. While many people swear they've seen a difference, there is insufficient scientific research to suggest that lip exercises actually work. Work. Ensure that your lips are well hydrated. Doing lip exercises with dry, chapped lips, will likely cause them to tear and or bleed. If your lips are quite chapped, drink lots of water and apply a good lip moisturizer. Then wait a few days until they're in better shape before starting lip exercises. Blow a kiss. Holding your hand close to your face, press your lips against it as if you're about to blow someone a kiss. Hold your lips against your hand for several seconds. Repeat 5 to 10 times. Smile and kiss 5 times. 14. Sitting upright with your mouth closed, smile as broadly as you can. Do this for 15 seconds, then relax. Next, pucker your lips, pushing them out as far as you can into an exaggerated kissy face. Do this 10 times. After smiling and puckering your lips, hold the puckered position for at least 30 seconds, then relax and pull your lips inside your mouth. Letting your teeth gently clamp down on them. Hold this position for 10 seconds. Repeat the whole process 5 times. Smile with your lips folded inward. 15. Fold your lips inward over your teeth, then lift the corners of your mouth into a smile. Hold this position for at least 10 seconds. Repeat 10 times. Do 10 lip presses. 16. Press your lips together into a straight line. Create a resistance to this movement by imagining that there's something trying to prevent you from pressing your lips together. Work on holding your lips together against this resistance for 5 seconds. Repeat 10 times. Pretend to rinse with mouthwash. 17. Close your mouth and lightly pucker your lips. 
Gently move your lips from left to right as you inflate each cheek with air. It should look kind of like you're using mouthwash. Repeat this process 10 times. Try to move your lips in the shape of a figure 8, in both directions, directions.